Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, I'll show you how to control your old DSP plugins in Cakewalk with the MVave Chocolate MIDI Foot Controller. Let's get started. When you launch the Cube Suite program on your desktop, you will be presented with this screen. To set up Neural DSP, in the Mode Selection tab, we'll select Program Change B. After that, the last thing we need to do is to set the Expression Pedal. Select Expression Pedal and click Interface. Click Add. Double-click the entry and enter 11 for data. The Loosen value is the value of the pedal when it is fully open. Enter 127. The step on value is the value of the pedal when it is fully closed. Enter 0. Click OK. Close the interface and exit the editor. You're now done programming the controller. Now let's set up Cakewalk. Before we begin, we must first set up Cakewalk to receive MIDI messages from the chocolate controller. This is done in three easy steps. Step 1. Go to Edit in the menu and select Preferences. Step 2. Select Devices in the section labeled MIDI. Step 3. Check USB MIDI in the Input and Output panes and click Apply and OK. Cakewalk is now set. Let's set up the Neural DSP plugin. To set up the Neural DSP plugin to receive MIDI messages from the chocolate controller in Cakewalk, click the Add Track icon and select Instrument. In the Instrument drop down, select your Neural DSP plugin. Note, you must select VST2. For input, select USB MIDI and select Omni. Click the Advanced drop down and select Split Instrument Track. You'll see a MIDI track and an audio track appear along with the plugin. Go to the plugin and click the VST2 drop down. Select Enable MIDI Input. Note, if it is grayed out, it is not a problem. Click the VST2 drop down again and select Plugin Properties. Check, configure as synth, and click OK. Now the Neural DSP plugin can receive MIDI messages from the chocolate controller. All there is left to do is set up the plugin. Setting up Neural DSP to change presets and toggle effects can be done in five easy steps. Step 1. Click the MIDI icon in the lower left corner of the plugin. Step 2. Click the plus icon to add 8 rows. Step 3. For the first 4 rows, select Program Change Preset. And for the bottom 4 rows, select Program Change Toggle. Step 4. For the first 4 rows, select Presets. And for the bottom four rows, select Effects to toggle. Step 5. Starting at PC0, enter numbers sequentially in each row until you reach PC7. Close the pane. Now when you click pedals, A through D, your presets will change. And when you bank up once by pressing pedals C and D together, pedals, A through D will toggle effects. If you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, 
then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.